Hi, this is Roger. Thanks for dropping by. You have to put up with the um, machinery noise in the background, but it's uh, men at work. Got jobs to do and all that. This is just a quick update on the two plants that went up in the bathroom to take advantage of the bright light on the windowsill. And uh, the idea was it would be warmer in the house than it would be out here at night, which was fine until the heating came on. And then suddenly the air in the bathroom became very dry, obviously. Um, now, this plant here is not doing great, but it's doing okay. It's doing better as far as the roots are concerned now that um, I don't leave water in there. I, I basically soak the roots for an hour or so and then empty the water out and then the water there's just a tiny little bit in the bottom to stop it going totally dry and I have to clean the algae out the bottom quite often as well I've got a lovely big fat new root starting there but all these white roots are too high up they don't get any moisture so when I water it now I pour water over these aerial roots until they start to go green um, as well as giving the lower roots a soak. But there's, the spikes coming on, um, and I thought it was going to be one bud at first, but I mean, you can see there's two buds plus whatever's inside here. The buds come out. As this extends, the buds get left behind. So we're going to get a few blooms on it, which is good, because we haven't seen any blooms on that for a very long time. Um, well, since back at the other house, let's put it that way, now the Renanthera, Renanthera, however you want to say it, suddenly, dramatically started to change with the advent of the heating came on. It reacted very badly to the dry air and dropped four leaves in about three days. Now given that we've been, this is a project orchid, we've been watching the progress of this and the, the new leaves forming and all that and counting them and suddenly we've got to take four off. Um, it'll be five, there's another one about to go. So what I did was I trimmed the bottom of the um, stem and took the old roots off, the ones that were black and in the moss. So what's left are good white roots including one with a growing tip and they're now in bark in an open basket and this will get watered regularly but not so that the bark stays soaking wet um, and quite honestly the um, I'm sacrificing the warmth in the house for the moist air in here um, because, as I said, this reacted very badly to the dry air. So we'll try it in here and hope that this last leaf is going to be the last one to fall off and the rest will be okay. And um, as I said, every, every time I've got water, whatever it's for, I'll pour some through here, you know, obviously with some feed now and again. And the same with this, every time I've got something on the go, then the roots will get a good soak. I won't say it'll be daily, they're not going to be growing so much now because they're now cooler, obviously, coming out of the house. They're going to be cooler in here than they would have been. So they're probably going to grind to a very, very slow pace. But they've got their humidity back, which is obviously, in the case of this one, very important. If it's going to drop that amount of leaves in one go. So there we are, just a quick update on, um, on that. Um, the gardening channel... We're up to 460 something subscribers now. So there's only 30 something subscribers to go and I'll have my 500. And the watch hours has clicked over the 2000 mark. We need to get that to 3000, but that's two thirds, you know. <laughs> In a, I don't know how many months the channel's been running, but it, it's pretty good progress. There is actually a new video over there if you want to go and watch, which is um, I left the camera running on the bird feeders for about an hour and a quarter, something like that, and then edited the highlights out and put some music to it. So if you want to see some of the birds on the bird feeder, pop across to the gardening channel.
And as always, I say, <laughs> if you get there and you're not subscribed, it would be nice if you did so. Don't forget the thumbs up. See you next time. Thanks for dropping by.